Hey, Alex, it's Lee from Gas Tech. Uh, thanks for coming to watch the video. This is a video on the Velocity Rode 1.5 van bag. I haven't seen a video reviewing this bag. There's prob there probably is one out there, um, but I thought I'd do my view on it. It's something I've wanted to buy for a while because I've got multiple bags that I use, like my snap bag. I've got my iPad in an A4 folder. I've got my MacBook in a laptop case. I take them all out every morning. So hopefully this will be the answer. Um, I'll have a look online. It's got laptop storage, iPads, drinks holders, integrated food bag, all sorts of stuff. So we'll go through the bag. It's a little bit bigger than I thought, but it is about the size of your passenger seat. On top, we've got what in theory is the laptop storage. Um, the only thing I would say it could do with being like, not silk, but some sort of softer material. Although, the, because all your matte books and everything, they are quite um, fragile, should we say. So it's, the, the fabric's just not that great. But that's my MacBook Air 13 inch, I think this one is. And that fits in really nice, seals away. It's not a bad, and it comes out easy enough. So we've got the MacBook. Let's have a look inside the actual bag. So we've got iPad storage or A4 certificate pads. I suppose you get quite a few things in there. It's quite a deep pocket. You've got the headrest holder. So that's the part you put around the headrest. It clips on and then obviously it's attached to the bag. So the bag sits in the van like that, basically. Um, there's plenty of room. I've got my iPad here. Let's just see if we can drop this in. That'll drop straight in there. There's more than enough room to probably get, uh, if you're a gas engineer like me, get some certificate pads in there as well. Um, I'll have a look. Pen storage on the front. Might be able to hold some little torches. I don't know if my union like torch fits. You could clip it on. On the actual clip there. He says, try and do it at one end. You can clip that on there like that. If you use the tracer pens or the pickers, they'll drop in there as well. So the pockets are big enough to hold it. Put it back in there. You've got like a, I suppose you can put your snap on here, or you could use that as an actual workstation for writing, or you could get your laptop out, set your laptop up on there. If you sat on the side of the van, it's big enough to do that. Look at that. That lifts up. Texture side, you've got the integrated food bag, which does pull out. So if you take it out for cleaning, or if you want to fill it up elsewhere, zip it up and drop it back in, it's easy enough to do. There is some side pockets here. I don't know what you'd really use them for, Couple of side pockets on the bag there. Um, so you just put like little USB pens in them if you use them. Uh, anything really, I suppose. Little knick knacky bits that you don't want to lose. You've got three cup holders, varying size. The smallest one, that looks like it'd probably tap the, you know, the disposable cups you get out of the vending machines. That looks like it's sitting there because what it's got in the bottom, I can take this off. Is like a little prefabbed foam spacer. So you could take that out and put something slimmer and taller in, or if you drop that back in, it looks the perfect height for them little disposable like orangey yellow cups you get. Um, what about here? I've got a selection of different things I use, so I always take the coffee cup with me. So that won't quite fit in there, but it will sit in there. That's not the best though, but that does fit in the Favaro cup holders, so that's where it predominantly sits anyway. That's for me meal prep stuff, fuel. That'll sit in there nicely. Also sits in the bigger one. TOS, the little stainless steel water bottles that people use. That doesn't fit in the first one, but it does sit snug in the middle one. And obviously the last one, it's quite loose, but it does sit in there quite nice. And then if you are into your gym or if you take smoothies to work or anything like that, 
the normal shaker bottle will fit in the biggest pocket. Um, but other than that, there's, n well, there's not enough massive amount showing it. It seems really well built. It's solid even around the sides. I can't complain about that. The zips seem to work quite well on the actual food bag. Everything's branded up. Looks smart. Let's rip these out. Obviously you've got the extra storage in the middle. Just put whatever you want in. I suppose you could put laptop chargers in, pens, pencils, all sorts of stuff. Um, I have got, I'm recording this video on the new GoPro Hero 10. So I suppose you could, if I wanted to, that's the case. That will fit perfectly in that little storage area. So that's a good little uh, boosty bonus. So I could take it work for me. Drop that down. I think that is about it. It's not a massive amount of time. It's kind of zipped up. I don't think there's any other external features. Quite nice solid zips. You have got the same as the PB um, bags you can buy. I don't know if all the Velocity bags have got it because I only own this one now and the soldering bag, which I did a video on before, which is this one, the PB Rogue 8.0. Um, so this has got as well the Velcro patch. This one's got the Union Jack on it. You can get, as I said in the previous video, your initials on these, so I get LJ put on or whatever. I think you can have your company logo embroidered as well, of about £10. Um, so that's a nice way just to personalise it, I suppose. Everything's covered up. Nice brass detail on the bottom, VB 1.5. Nice solid handle on the top. It does come with, what's this here? Oh, that is for, so that is, I didn't even notice that myself, that you obviously put the seatbelt around the bag and clip it in, and that is where you put the seatbelt through and then drop that over to hold it tight, and then obviously this part of the bag comes up and clips onto the headrest, so that just holds it all in place. It does come with a shoulder strap. I don't think I need to use the shoulder strap personally, because the idea is, at the end of the day, we've got to pick the kids up because I've got two kids in a three-seater van. So that was the other thing. I didn't want to have to keep my like, fetching my iPad, my MacBook and everything else out. I can literally zip this up and just pick it up like that and just bring it in the house, done. Uh, and keep all my paperwork in one place. I don't do that many paper certificates anymore. I don't think that many people do. I either use the gas app or master gas, depending what, um, so that's what I'm using, so I won't really use that for storage, it'll more be notebooks, um, quotes, all that sort of thing. I'll probably keep my survey forms in there that I use for doing my quotes. Um, if anyone does ever want, if you're doing the domestic stuff, because I do domestic and commercial, I do a lot of schools, factories, libraries, all sorts of stuff. But I have got a domestic survey form for quoting border swaps and conversions. If you do want me to put a link in the comments, let me know and I'll drop that in there and do your link to the cloud or whatever for a survey for me, it's a really good layout. Um, other than that, the bag comes with a three year warranty included. I don't know why, unless it has just come off. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it does just unclip. This wasn't attached to the bag when I took it out of the box. Now I'm not saying it's been sent back and sent back out to someone else, um, but no, that does. Yeah, that does just pop off. It's not very tight. So I'll give the benefit of the doubt. That was the only thing when I took it out of the box that that wasn't attached. But everything else, all the um, packaging is also on the bag. So I don't think it's been out before. Um, got the big Velocity logo on the back. But right, other than that, last bit of kit, well built, zips are solid. Um, obviously, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, but uh, no, thanks for watching. If you can, like the video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. This is a new thing for me. Uh, I might not come across massively confident, but this is a whole new venture. Um, but I do want to try and bring some more content to the channel uh, regarding installations, breakdowns, uh, anything like that. I don't think that many people do the commercial aspect of plumbing and heating or 
do like installation videos for the bigger boilers. I'll do some 900 kilowatt force draft burners and stuff like that. So for the plumbers and gas engineers and maybe the apprentices, um, when I was an apprentice, I did my training at a commercial company and it was a nightmare because as people will know, or if you're not and you're looking at getting into plumbing, the MVQ2 um, is all domestic based, bathrooms, basic plumbing, all that sort of thing. So being in a commercial outfit and trying to pass the MVQ2 was horrendous, but I managed to get there. It did take some evenings and stuff, doing extra jobs, but anyway, that's for another day. But um, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Obviously, any questions, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.